Hi, Foundations of Art students. Um, our first drawing assignment is going to be an upside down contour line drawing. And this tutorial is gonna give you all the tips and tricks you need to be successful in this piece. We're gonna do a total of two. You can access the form via um, your Google Classroom. The first drawing that you're gonna do is the quadrant method drawing. Actually, for both of them is the quadrant method. Um, it's a drawing of Sid, the koala. And then we're gonna be doing an upside draw down drawing of Igor. Stravinsky, who's a Russian composer. This drawing was created by the artist Pablo Picasso. Both of these drawings are going to be completed by you referencing the image upside down. This is considered to be an exercise in the drawing world. It helps get you out of your left brain mode, which is your labeling, your language, anything that kind of interrupts that creative spirit. And it's going to get you into your right brain mode where it allows you to focus on not what it is, but just the line the shape and the form. This is an exercise to help kind of warm up that creative process um, and it kind of makes you slow down, really focus on what it is in terms of the line and the type of line it is. And it tries to get you away from labeling and the fear of not drawing it perfectly. Um, I would like you to watch the tutorial and then I want you to try as best you can. Now, this needs to be done in a quiet space no talking around you, and you need to make sure that you're allowing your brain to connect with your hand to connect to the paper. So instead of worrying about drawing an eyes, a nose, and a mouth, you're just focusing on the shape and the line that you see. And the goal is to try not to lift up your pencil and not to use your eraser. You should be going super, super slow, taking your time, really allowing yourself to get into that meditation zone of thinking. So put on some classical music without words and allow yourself to get into that right brain. I hope you enjoy the activity. Okay, beginning our upside down drawings, starting with Sid. Remember, you have two in this assignment. You're going to take it section by section, or in this case, quadrant by quadrant. This is called the quadrant method of drawing. Whether your drawing is drawing from upside down or right side up, the quadrant method helps break down an image so you can figure out where things start and end with spacing. So you wanna do your best by keeping your pencil down the entire time, lifting up when you need to go to a different section if need be, and adjusting as little as possible. So here I am, I'm taking my time. Of course, I sped up the video, but I really took a long time to do this. You should be moving very, very slowly. Everything is working out, and I noticed at the end, something was kind of a little bit too large for the space, so I erase it. But you wanna do your best to limit your erasing and your editing and fixing and really allowing your brain to do the work. Once I was finished, I added marker or Sharpie on top to get the final product. Now try this with Igor, the more challenging upside down contour line practice.